Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. That's right, another Tuesday has come, and it is time for our weekly reset guide. A pretty special one this time around. This is the final week of the season. That's right, we've got an entirely new season starting up next week. We've also got the big Destiny 2 showcase happening next week. Make sure you're staying tuned. There's going to be plenty of news coming out about that. Let's go ahead and dive on into things. First things first, seeing as it's the final week of the season, we have got triple reputation boost, baby. Vanguard, Crucible, and the Gambit are all seeing massive boosts to their rewards. Make sure you go and run that stuff if you're trying to clear up any of those vendors, if you're trying to reset your ranks or anything like that. This is going to be the week to do it. Additionally, we have got a security lockdown in the helm. Our final bit of story content before the end of the season is live. Make sure you head there and pay attention to what happens. But we're here to check out some of the weekly reset stuff. Starting off, of course, with Nightfalls. And the Nightfall this week is Proving Grounds. You are going to be dealing with some Cabal. You guys know the uh, the story by now. you got a bunch of different modifiers. You can run it at higher difficulty levels to get better chances at Nightfall weapon drops. I do believe the Nightfall weapon this time around is supposed to be the Silicon Neroma. This will be your last chance to go for an adept version of that as well. So make sure you get your grinding in. You'll be facing Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. You can see some of the other modifiers here. You will be dealing with all three shield types in this strike. Make sure you pay attention to that. And we've got an acute Solar Burn. All right, moving on over to the Vanguard Ops playlist for today. We've got Solar Singe as well as Stasis Singe. Good stuff. Grounded and double Vanguard rank all week, baby. Great time to go ahead and reset all that stuff. Moving on to Gambit, same thing. You've got double infamy points all this week. So if you're somebody who's been avoiding Gambit, all like all season long this is your week to jump in i think you're getting double reputation boost it's going to be your best time to uh go ahead and get that reputation rank done you can see i basically haven't played any all right and it's the same thing for crucible for playlists we've got control team scorched makes its return survival rumble and elimination with that double reputation boost all right, moving on from there, the Legacy Pinnacle content this week is the Dreaming City. That means Shattered Throne and The Last Wish are both going to be dropping some Pinnacle gear towards the end. If you're coming down to the wire, you're still trying to get your Pinnacle stuff there, that can uh, that's two bits of content you can run. Additionally, of course, you've got your Preservation Reset as well as Vox Obscura. The Wellspring today is Defend with the weapon, is and the weapon is Father's Sins. Not too bad at all. For the weekly mission, this time we've got the Ghost. You can run that for some Ascendant Alloys. Probably a good time to farm up some Ascendant Alloys before the end of the season. You know how Bungie likes to drop a bunch of stuff on you that requires a lot of, uh, a lot of currency at the beginning of a new season. This would definitely be farm week if you were to ask me. For our Legend and Master Lost Sector today, it is Extraction here in Savathun's Throne World. You'll be dealing with Overload and Unstoppable Champions, uh, Arc Burn with Arc and Void Shields. The modifier you're going to be dealing with is Raider Shields. Very annoying. Of course, your drop is going to be Exotic Chest Armor. All right, after that, finally, of course, you've got your reset over in the Derelict Leviathan. You've got your reset for Duality, Castellum, and Sever Missions. Again, if you're looking to get some Pinnacle stuff, there are plenty of Pinnacle options in the game. All right, now that that's all said, let's hop over to the tower and see what we've got vendor-wise. All right, Novi here at Banshee 44. Let's take a look. This is actually a pretty decent Staccato 46 if you haven't gotten, you know, an incandescent one. Adaptive Munitions is definitely a clutch perk if you're someone who likes to run Grandmasters or stuff where match game is a real headache. Here you got a Lunulata 4B, a Funnel Web for those who still haven't gotten one of those, a Galu RR3 sniper rifle, this Typhon GL5 is not bad, almost perfect. Demolitionist Explosive Light, he sold this roll a bunch of times before. It's overall not a bad pick if you're looking for a heavy grenade launcher, though it's supposed to be getting a buff pretty soon. And then we've got an Eternity's Edge with Infinite Guard Tireless Blade. Not too bad of a combination. Surrounded is definitely a top tier perk for swords. All right, that's it for the Gunsmith. Let's move on to Ada 1. And over here at Ada 1, she's got some good stuff for sale today. We've got Unflinching Linear Fusion Aim, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, both great perks to have, and then Fireteam Medic and Elemental Charge. This 
is a must-buy perk. I know it feels like I probably say that every single week for some of you newer players out there. But if you have, if you can get nothing else from Ada, make sure you get Elemental Charge. This is one of the biggest parts of a lot of the biggest builds that incorporate stuff like Stasis Shards, Elemental Wells, all kinds of things, you want to definitely make sure you have Elemental Charge. Fire Team Medic was a super powerful perk back in the day as well, when Warmind Mind Cells, before those things got bodied. Definitely make sure you come to Ada every one, or Ada, Ada 1 every day. Make sure you pick up all the stuff she's got here. But absolutely, if you're missing Elemental Charge, this is a must-buy perk. Make sure you have it in your inventory. But all right, Guardians, there we go. That's pretty much it for your weekly reset guide for the week of August 16th, 2022. Again, remember, we got a new story thing today over in the helm. Go and check it out. And of course, next week, we've got the Destiny 2 showcase. Where we're going to be learning more about the future of Destiny 2. We'll also have a couple of big announcements here on the channel, as well as our coverage of all of that stuff. Make sure you're staying tuned. And as usual, before we get on out of here, I am going to go through some of the Eververse offerings available this week. So that's how we're going to end out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week in the world of Destiny 2. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty. The pyramid's approach fills me with dread. Despite being surrounded by guardians, I can't imagine what the Armory Founders felt like during the Collapse. Adopting this new technology feels overwhelming. I barely understand it, but it's nice to have a clear challenge in front of me. This will all fail. It gnaws at the corners of my mind. But that is how I know it is important work. When the Traveler acts, the world changes.